Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So <clears throat> this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, energies are fluid. So just because this is something that's coming through today does not mean it has to be something for today specifically. It could be happening for you now. It could have happened in the past. It could be coming up in the future. Yes. Um, also, this is not specific to anything, love, career, a certain sign, or whatever. This is literally just what Spirit wants to discuss with us today. Yes. If you would like to, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And you can also check me out on, on uh, Facebook at divine conversations 2711. <coughs> okay. So let's just get straight to it, guys. Hot. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today. Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Let's get some shuffling in here. Let's see what we've got. Tuesday, March 5th. Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, well, we've got this one so far. Judgment, okay. Let's see what else we've got here. Tuesday, March 5th, Seven of Swords. The devil, oh boy. Okay, well, I'll get that in a second. Okay, all right. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, we have it. Underneath the deck, we have the Hierophant. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit of a rough reading, I feel like. Um. <laughs> Okay. So already, right off the bat, with judgment here, um, there is a really strong calling going out, okay, into the ether, out to all of the beings that have come out here to do, that have come here to Earth, to do what it is we came here to do, okay? And it's so crazy because... Um, as I was shuffling and channeling the energies for today, I was seeing green, which to me represents, well, it does, it represents the heart chakra. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Often when I see colors as I'm channeling, um, they lead me to, you know, the heart chakra. Um, at least that's how it's been so far. That could change eventually, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, there's a, we've, we've been going through a, cos, a cosmic heart chakra awakening. And if you've been watching my readings for some time, you would know that because I've been talking about it because the Knight of Cups keeps coming out. And this is the energy that I'm feeling today. And it's really very interesting because I woke up at like three o'clock, three in the morning. Um, and I had almost like this, it wasn't a panic attack, but it was a, It was almost like a depressive mood where um, I was, it was very, uh, um, oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it was just, it was very much in my face about, you know, the ways that I have been not necessarily doing everything that I've been wanting to do. Um, and, you know, I've been feeling 
urges to be creative lately, or at least like the 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 idea to you know start creating some like music or something lately. But I've just really been <laughs> resisting. Okay, and it has a lot to do with fear and self-deception. Okay, so the self-deception is coming in through the in the form of the seven of swords. The fear is in the form of the devil. And the devil is that energy that's in your ear about how, about saying, you know, well, well, you don't have this or you don't have that or you're not good enough. This, that, and the third. That kind of energy, right? The hierophant um, is your well. I'm seeing it as like two things here, or at least multiple different things. One, it's your higher self coming through and um, <laughs> they're saying, making a claim for you to get back to the full extent of your mission, okay? Um, in other senses, it is status quo. It is society, things of that nature that hold you back. It's kind of like the counterpart to this devil energy that's saying you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that, you don't have this certification, you don't have that certification, you, you don't have this training, blah, 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 blah. And when it comes to that kind of thing, it's the devil in your ear that's saying you're never gonna be able to afford it, you're never gonna be able to succeed, you're never gonna be able to learn, you're never gonna be able to get through it, this, that, whatever, okay? All those nevers, bad news, right? But nonetheless, this calling is going out. And what the judgment here is, what judgment here is saying is you have to, it's time to really wake up and see the truth of the situation. Whatever is holding you back, I really should be talking to myself right now, but whatever is holding you back is just an illusion. Okay? It's just an illusion. You don't have to be perfect. Let's see what else we have here. Eight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. The Page of Swords, okay? So this is... This, this second row here is like the action steps the universe or your higher self even is asking you to take. I swear to God, I should be doing a, like a personal reading for myself today. <laughs> but these are the action steps that you should be taking or that is being suggested by you. First and foremost, walk away from the past, walk away from the pain, okay? Now, part of my situation, I'm gonna, I'm, because I'm relating to this so much, I, I want to help give you guys some perspective on you know how I've been dealing it with it and what you could dealing with you could be dealing with and how you could deal with it so part of my situation has been you know first of all my time is really thin right it's really there's I don't have much right now um, between the work that I'm doing for the channel which is something I'm definitely keeping up with but also this class the schooling that I'm in and I'm not really going to have much of a free or schedule until I graduate in July now I have been using that as somewhat, somewhat of an excuse to not do every all of the things that I really had been urged or nudged to do but also, I've been in an energy of learning to be gentle with my energy and learning what is, because there's a fine line between overextending myself, right, and, and staying balanced here. But, so I say all that to say, if you are going through any sort of situation in which you're still trying to heal from something, you're still trying to set uh, uh, clear something out of your way because it's like standing in your way, then be gentle with yourself, be patient with yourself, and follow through. But as you are getting to this situation, now I guess is the time to start working through the fears, the apprehensions, the what ifs, the devil on your back that's trying to convince you that you're not doing things right or you're not going to be able to do things right or you're not good enough that's just filling you with a bunch of fear and is keeping you in a self-deceptive mode with the seven of swords here okay um and this this can be this can be you know related to anything this is a general reading guys so take what resonates it's not going to look for look the same for all of us for me this is creative but for some of you it's just a matter of um getting on your path in general or or lining things up in your path or moving forward especially for like if you resonated with yesterday's reading moving forward with whatever it is you come to understand and that you need to be moving away from eight of cups 
Okay. Now, the Six of Pentacles is speaking to the energies of, um, you know, being kind and patient with yourself and giving to yourself the love and the care that you need in order to make this transition or in order to get started in the, with this, with these, these projects or whatever it is you need to be doing or want to be doing. And then finally, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is learning. Um, seeking, understanding. It's also about communication, clear and blunt communication, okay? And what I'm getting with this is that there's an energy of seeking a new way of doing things, maybe learning some new techniques, um, learning some new ways of going about things, ways of getting somewhere. Being on the lookout, though, keeping your eyes open for any sort of energy that might be trying to stop you. Okay, now really is the time to work on cutting the self-deception and the negative talk out. Okay, so like for me, for example, what happened last night, um, well, I should say it like three this morning, was um, a look into where I need to be healing and I need to be working on believing in myself more and um, understanding myself, being patient with myself, knowing that, you know, Recognizing that we've all really been through a lot over the last, I'm going to say two years, and it's not even just two years. It's been much longer than that, but we'll just say for, for um, you know, brevity, I guess we'll say, for the last two years. Just look at the past two years and look at what you've been through. Me personally, I have to remind myself of that constantly because I do. I, get, I have that Virgo rising situation, and I get really hard on myself. And I have to like take a step back and, and say to myself, Eric, <laughs> do you do, like stop for a second and look at what you've been through. Look at how much you've grown. Look at how much you've changed. Look at how much has changed around you just in the past two years. Okay. Like I've been, I've been working on this channel for a little over a year now. Oh, well, a year and like two months now. You know, like that's, <clears throat> I made some really major life changes and I have to just allow you, 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 okay, all right. What this Six of Pentacles energy is saying is you have to just, you kind of just got to let the dust ses settle for a little bit. That doesn't mean that, you know, you can't still work towards it. You can't do little things here or there to get the ball rolling in whatever venture it is you want to undertake. But also you have to give yourself the care and the compassion and the time to really heal and let some things go, okay? But also, you can be in an energy of seeking opportunities to move forward, right? Okay, with the Page of Swords energy. The Hierophant specifically is saying in this instance that your situation, your expression, your life does not need to look like everyone else's. It doesn't. It's not going to. It's not meant to. You are a unique individual and your light needs to shine in the way that it shines the best, which is authenticity, authentically, not through the What's the word I'm looking for? Not through the, um, oh, filter, I guess, of someone else's opinion. There we go. Okay. And also, you don't need to rush. There's no need to rush anything. Just take the time to set the intention and get the, the, get the ball rolling. Again, seek opportunities here with the Page of Swords. Seek ways of doing it. Okay. All right. So let's get some clarification here. I'm going to do it the same. I'm going to do it the normal way. I'm going to clar clarify the top row first. And then I'm going to clarify the bottom row. All right. One more shuffle. And then we will be ready to go. 
Alrighty. So, Judgment, Seven of Wands, and I'm sorry, Seven of Swords. Interesting, Seven of Wands, but Seven of Swords and the Devil. So this is um, a higher calling that's being played out, that's being heard, and we're kind of caught in this deception. We're caught in this devilish energy of this toxic toxicity and codependency of needing some sort of validation or, or um, not feeling good enough or something like that, deceiving ourselves, okay, in some way. So let's get some clarification on this, please, spirit. Yeah. All right. Wow. All right. Underneath the deck is the Eight of Cups. This is what you need to be walking behind, uh, walking away from, leaving behind you, okay? We've got, wow. All right. This is this is quite beautiful, actually. Okay, so we've got the Five of Cups here. Uh, we also have, wow, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. We've got the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Judgment, again. Look at this, guys. Judgment, all right? I'm gonna put that there, Chariot. Now. Here's the deal. No, wrong way. There is something from the past that is holding you back from moving forward with this. Okay? Uh, this has to do with most likely, most like, well, I'm not going to say that because this is a general reading, but um, this could either be your inner child, this could be um, childhood wounds. Wounds from childhood. That is the strongest thing that I'm feeling here. But this also could be just the past in general. It all, could also be past lives. But there is a sense of loss, regret, shame, remorse, guilt. It could very well be that what it is that you're looking to do has been a topic of contention between you and, like, say, your family. Um, is something that <clears throat> maybe goes against what the family might be or what might consider to be a respectable job or a respectable profession or um, a respectable path in life. But honestly, that has nothing to do with you because if it's really something you truly want to do in your life, if it's something that brings you joy and fills you with happiness, then you need to just walk away from that situation, leave that behind you and move on to what it is you truly want to do. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Cups is talking to healing energy here, okay? And I'm going to put this right on top of this Five of Cups and Six of Cups because there is a, definitely some healing that needs to happen here surrounding this situation. And for most of you, the healing comes into play by just doing it by just doing whatever it is you're being called to do, getting to it, don't worry about it. It might be a rough start, sure. You might have to, it's gonna take some practice, sure. It might take some time to get back into it, sure. But there's nothing to it but to do it, okay? And that's the energy of the Queen of Wands here, okay? And what I feel like is as you, especially what the Queen of Wands is saying here, as you work towards what you are desiring to do, more of that energy, more of that happiness, more of that drive, that um, um, inspiration is going to gravitate towards you. And from there, more and more are going to gravitate towards you, okay? So this definitely talks about being creative here, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and healing, and also healing others through this work that you're going to be doing or that you, you're being called to do, okay? Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So it's time to make a decision. You're very much at a crossroads here. And I feel like a lot of us are stuck at this crossroads. Uh, should, I, should I go down this path and do this thing? Or should I just completely forget about it and go somewhere else? Well, it's time to reap what you've sown here. Seven of Pentacles. It's time to take this harvest okay, and that you're experiencing from the past and basically turn it into mulch or turn it into fertilizer and go down the path that you're being called towards. 
learn from the mistakes of the past or the instances from the past, especially what you learned over the last, we'll say two years, just because that's what I used before, but it could be longer than that for you. But whatever it is, however this latest major cycle has been for you, learn from that and put that to good use. And once you do so, eight of wands, quick, click, quick clear, fast movement. And you have the chariot here also. Which is to which to me and many others is kind of like can be the major arcana, arcana excuse me major arcana version of the chair uh, of the eight of wands because of the swift movement with judgment you just have to get the ball rolling and you do have to do some healing here to bring yourself into balance so that you can really move forward as effectively as possible, okay? You have to bring your opposing sides, your duality, your masculine and feminine energies, your light, your dark, your good, your bad, your emotions into balance to really get this cart moving forward for yourself, okay? Okay. So now, Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Let's see what we've got here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. Wow. Justice. Okay. Under yes. Underneath the deck is the Ace of Books. Or in this deck, this in this deck it's books, but in this case, uh, books represents wands. But I do want to say it specifically, the Ace of Books specifically because it's time to write a new book whatever it is oh gosh i really need to be taking my own advice whatever it is that has held you back in the fa in the past or whatever circumstances went down in the past an association with this it's time it's time to walk away from that eight of cups and it's time to start a new book ace of books or ace of wands okay Ace of Swords here. Information, truth, honesty, clarity, seeing things as they truly are, not as your ego makes them out to be, not as the devil makes them out to be, not as the fear that, that it that it makes it look like nothing. Nothing but the truth. Okay? You have justice with the wheel of fortune. All right. And what I really feel like is you getting moving and doing these things, doing whatever it is that you're being called to do. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. This is just so funny because this is literally like I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> but whatever it is you are being called to do, regardless of how rocky it may be in the beginning, it's going to be bringing some serious justice to the world not just yourself yes it would be bringing justice to yourself but it's going to be bringing justice to the world and the people around you and that comes in because you will be looking the devil right in the face and saying you have no power here you can't stop me from doing what it is i am here to do you also have you guys final card here that was face down is the sun I mean, this is really a beautiful way to end this part of the reading. Ace of Swords, Justice, the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the Ace of Books, or the Ace of Wands. I mean, talk about, talk about encouragement. I also feel like, you guys, you don't need to rush. And Eric, you don't need to rush. Um, I feel like what this is also saying here is that the more you focus on the truth of the situation... Okay, and see things for what they truly are, the more the, the situation is actually going to turn around in your favor. I really do feel like the universe here is saying between justice, the wheel of fortune, and the sun, um, things are turning around in your favor. And I feel like you do just kind of have to ride it out just a little bit longer. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take any sort of action. Okay, start small. Start small and work your way up. But um, things are changing on your behalf as far as the universe is concerned. The universe is helping to line this up for you. Just stay focused on the truth. 
stay focused on the honesty. Even, you may even want to start writing some things. Getting the ball rolling somehow. Okay? But that's beautiful. Okay. Now, we're going to get into the oracle section. I want to start with some oracle guidance from the unicorns. And then I believe we're I'm going to close the reading with one card from the Lightworker Oracle. All right, unicorns. So help us understand here. Just give us some, some clarity, some guidance, some oracle guidance moving forward. I do like to see the unicorns as action guidance. So unicorns, whatever you want to say in relation to this reading here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, we got it. We've got two. Wow. We've got imagination and we've got delight. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Imagination says, envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. I mean, come on. <laughs> And finally, we have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Always expect the best. And also what I'm feeling like this card is, also, is saying is take time to really enjoy yourself and have fun right now. Okay, whatever it is that would have, that you know would generate a feeling of joy and fun in your life, follow that. Okay. Wow, that's... Okay, so now, closing message here from the Lightworker Oracle. All right, Spirit. One card, please. In relation to this reading, best message, please, Spirit, for today. Best message. There we go. And we have Soul Child. Card number 14. Soul Child. Okay. Let's see what this says. Here we go, soul child. Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life, and it is starting right now. This is the divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work, and physical transformation, has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is like a new day, or it is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the, the increase of your light power and love i think i do want to read more of this you have undergone a death of the old order nothing is as it was nor will it be so again you have had to learn detachment to realize or to release and to let go over and over again in so many ways you have experienced inner death as you have bravely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime even if it once even if you once loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it. Deep inside, through that process, your soul has been gathering energy. It has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships, from your old beliefs about health, finances, work, and from what, you, what used to hold meaning for you. It has done so in order to feel the new soul child being carried within your body. This new you is filled with divine light, love, and power. Your inner soul child, this newly integrated self, is preparing for birth now. From that which is no longer, something new is now being born. You are ready for the next cycle or phase in your life. Even if, like a new, uh, even if, like a newborn colt learning to stand steady and shaky legs, stand on, stand. Wait, I'm sorry. Even if, like a newborn colt learning to stand steady on shaky legs, you are not sure of your strength, be reassured. 
The new self you are experiencing will grow strong and powerful soon enough. Let confidence in your new self emerge. Reflect upon how different you are now to a year or even months ago. You guys. <laughs> <coughs> you guys. I was literally saying that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that part again. Reflect upon how different you are now to a year or even a month ago. Be curious about who you are now. Do not expect the same reactions or experiences you encountered in your past. It is, time, it is a time of celebration and acknowledgement that a new day, a new you, has begun a journey in the physical world. You shall enjoy the divine harvest of all your growth and effort. This card can also indicate that a child around you, perhaps one about whom you are you have been thinking deeply, is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented. This child may have an important mission this lifetime and need your loving support and spiritual encouragement to thrive into that mission according to his or her own divine timing. This card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. If this is the case, that new idea or connection will lead to the birth of creative new programs, ideas, and structures in your life. On the other hand, if something has been flagging in energy, I don't know what that means. If something has been flagging in energy or success, but you are not yet inclined to give it up, this oracle comes as confirmation and encouragement. Rebirth is going to happen. Do not give up. Sometimes it is darkest just before the dawn. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. I am looking to do happy hour tonight. Yes, happy hour. And I'm feeling much better lately, so I do feel like it's actually going to happen this time. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for that. Um, um, you'll know it's going to happen when I post the actual reminder. Um, that'll happen sometime once I get home from class today. I get out at 2. I should be home around 3-ish, so it should go up sometime around then. Um, anyway. I hope you all have a great day. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again, at least for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.